Hello, Wastelanders! It is I, Big Papa J. And we are on a mission for Jack Colbert that we have to do because we're undercover. We're trying to get in with um, Blinkers, Harden, Raiden, but I'm trying to get in with into this asylum here that is owned by Jack Colbert in order to take out a bounty that I have. So, um, the Bounty Hunters Guild of Diamond City, Crime and Punishment, has given me a bounty and it requires me to get into this building over here and I can't get into it unless I can become a crank, an associate of Jack Colbert. So it's kind of interesting, kind of cool how Crime and Punishment incorporates the vanilla game into their game, kind of mixes them together in order to um, make for interesting gameplay. Ow. Ow, I say. That bloody hurt. Pop your head around that corner. <laughs> Who are you killing in there? I can hear him blucking screaming. What's that up there? What's that up on top of the mountain up there, huh? You're nothing. nothing. Ah! Didn't see that coming, did you? Mysterious serum. So that's what I'm after. Hey, so I got what I was after. <clears throat> Anything else I want to get while I'm here? Like these bottle caps. I'm kind of curious what that is over there. Anywho. Who these gunners were, but they kind of kind of fell asleep, didn't they? They let me just walk right up on top of them. I mean, I know I'm in um, sneak mode, but they literally just let me walk right up here to them. Didn't even know I was in the area. Hey, I think I'm gonna go upstairs. Check upstairs real quick, see if there's anything extra up in here that I might want to grab. You know, a magazine or something. No, nothing over here. It's over there. Nothing I really need. Take that ammo. 
Ooh, 28 rounds. Yes, I'll definitely take that. Another 21 rounds. You can keep this, the rifle. I don't need it. But that was a good find. That was a very good find. Okay, I'm going to... Make my way over this direction. What does my quest say? Uh, return... Okay, return back to Cobra's house. So I will return back to his house, but before I do, I want to go check out this building over here. And I want to check that building out too, but I don't want to do everything right now. But I will eventually. Bloody hell. Bloody hell. I don't know what caused that to blow up. Somebody shooting or bombing that thing? What a bloody sound like how somebody's shooting or bombing at it. A couple of zombies in the area it looks like. Holy crap. Anything at the top of this tower? I wonder. I wonder if there's anything up here at the top of it. You know, they put a tower out here in the middle of nowhere. Sometimes they have a tendency to put like a bottle cap or a bobble head or something. I know somebody up here. Somebody's up here. Or at least I thought there was. Linwood's chest key. You know, that may have been a bad idea. Zombies are dwelled to noise. Every zombie for 100 miles is going to come to this building now. Three death claws. I think the Death Claws took out all the zombies, though. I believe, I believe they took out all the zombies. Explosive 10mm pistol. I'm gonna pick it up just for giggles. Now, what I wanna do is, I'm gonna check back over here one day and see how many zombies accumulate over there because they heard that siren going off if I don't die from this
know why that death claw stopped charging at me? I cut his legs off. I cut his legs off. That's why he stopped charging. See? There's his foot. He couldn't walk. <laughs> he couldn't walk because I cut his legs off. I need to offer the sword. I'll pick it up. Okay, let's... Let's jump back over here to um, Jack Colbert's house. Everybody having a good day or night? Alright, I am. It's night time. I'm going to officially go watch some movie. On the good old boob tube. As my dad used to call it. The idiot box, the boob tube. There's a movie coming on tonight. It's one regular, regular network, so... There'll be commercials and everything, but I'm thinking about watching it. Taking a break from the computer for for a little bit. I don't watch TV that much, mainly because I live in Thailand and everything's in Thai. But one of the local network stations here in Thailand is called Mono29, M-O-N-O-29. And it's one of the few no, but that um local stations that actually broadcasts in both Thai and English you can happy to send you can pick Thai or English mother Edward has better things to do than sending someone out to find Imogene again I don't think you're even listening to me Jack I'm not going to have Edward drop everything just because Imogene decided to take a lover again Jack how dare you speak so disrespectfully about your sister Hello, Edward. I insist you send someone to find Imogene. She's a grown woman. She's hey. perfectly. So did you find out what happened to the courier? Yeah, some raiders. Some raiders set up camp near Parsons and ambushed him. I took care of them. Hmm. I don't like raiders operating so close to Parsons. I hope this isn't the start of something serious. What about the serum he was carrying? Did you get any of it back? There was only this one vial left. Oh, good. I was afraid we wouldn't get any of it back. Here's your pay for the job. I'm throwing in a little bonus for bringing back the serum. That was good work. Now, as far as what's next... Oh, hell. I guess it's time you met Wilhelmina. Excuse me. Sorry about that. I had a tick on my throat. I can't believe you don't care what happens to your sister. If she wanted us to know where she went, she would have told someone. This is a pretty nice house, considering happening to Imogene right now. Mother, the state of the world right now. Jack, I'll take care of it. Mrs. Cabot, don't worry. I'll send someone to find Imogene. Thank you. I can always count on you. Why can't you be as devoted as dear Edward? <sighs> You shouldn't indulge her, Edward. It just makes her more impossible to deal with next time. Just doing my job. Speaking of which, here's all we got back of the last delivery from Parsons. Raiders got the rest of it, I'm sorry to say. Ah, oh, good. Finally. This will help settle Mother down. Emma Jean is Jack's sister. You probably figured that out yourself. She's, uh, a little flighty. Impulsive. From time to time, she runs off. Usually with a new boyfriend. Then I send somebody to bring her home. Okay, tell me the problem. Do you know where she's gone? No, but it shouldn't be too hard to find out. She's been spending a lot of time in Good Neighbor. That's a jazz club there, the third rail. Somebody there must know something. She's not known for keeping her mouth shut. Hey! I know the third rail. I'll ask around. Yep. That's where I met you, remember? I know the third rail. I'll ask around there. Okay. So, off to the third rail we go. 
Now, I'm actually going to... I don't want to spoil it for you, but I'm going to play this quest a little different. That can be about his sister. Yeah, if you say so. Because I always follow the rules on this quest. I think I'm going to break them this time. I think I'm going to break them. But I don't want to spoil it, so I'm not going to... Um, Give away too many, too many. Good neighbor. Go to good neighbor. Let's go to good neighbor. Wolf Gang, you guys still hanging around here? Ain't got nothing better to do? Since I ran you off from um, Trudy's Diner. <laughs> now, this, this quest here might be bugged. Last time I tried to do this, it's been a long time ago. I can't remember exactly how long. Um... But it got it was bugged and I couldn't do it. But that's okay because if it is bugged, I know what I have to do and where I have to go. See the last time this guy here, Ham. Downstairs. Don't bother the other patrons. We we he gets called to come downstairs and talk to me. And last time I tried to do this, Chris, he wouldn't come down. He he was bugged. Boy, we got beers. You ain't buying beer, you ain't buying. Yo, do you know Emma Jean Cabot? Name rings a bell. Kind of balmy. Haven't seen her in a while, though. Try Magnolia. She likes to make friends with people. She might know more about this missing bird. Magnolia! This guy wants a word! Hello, darling. Hmm? So, oh, what's the matter, Hanson? Don't tell me you didn't like the song. How many hits your oh, Six I love the song. I love the song. It was perfect. Oh, well, thank you. A girl tries her best. <laughs> now, there's something special about you, isn't there? Don't tell me. Let me guess. You're a survivor, aren't you? Uh -huh. I bet the whole world could stand in your way and you'd just keep going. Yes. So what brings a man like you to my part of town? Um... Came here for the music. I came here for the music. <laughs> Flatterer, I think you and I are gonna get along. So it's my turn to answer questions, right? What can I do for you? Uh, do you know this girl? Do you know Emma Jean Cabot? Emma Jean? Sure. I know her. I haven't seen her in a while, though. Are you a friend of hers? She's missing, and her family's worried about her. Oh, I'm glad somebody's looking out for her. She seemed like a body that could use looking after. Please, tell me what you know. There was this preacher fellow who used to come in here all the time. One of the slick ones. Always going on about remaking your life and so on. Most of the customers wouldn't give him the time of day, but Emma Jean, she latched on to him for some reason. I don't suppose it hurt that he was easy on the eyes. Mmm, intense. Some women find that irresistible. Pam, would you come over here a minute? Now, Last time I tried to do this, Ham got stuck, and he wouldn't come down. Is there a problem, Miss Magnolia? No, this fine gentleman here was just looking for Emma Jean. Do you happen to know where that preacher fella came from? Hmm, Brother Thomas? Yes, that's right. The one Emma Jean was always hanging on. Had to throw him out. Wouldn't stop bothering customers with that salvation racket. Kept going on and on about joining him at the back bay. Then he'd shove those stupid flyers in your face. Here, I kept one of them, just in case he didn't pay his bar tab. Mm. Well, thanks, honey. You were a big help. Anything for you, miss. 
I hope him and Jean's all right. I didn't much like the idea of her going off with that preacher fellow. Okay, so it wasn't Bug this time. He actually came down the stairs. Very cool. Very cool. So, now... Um... I know where to go. Let me see. What did he give me? He, um, inventory, miscellaneous, notes. Um, pillars of the community flyer. Is that it? Well, the comments playing truth behind the troubled grill that Charlie's view amphitheater in the back bay. Those seeking to change their lives for better are welcome. Yes, that's it. Okay. So, the amphitheater. It's, I already knew that. So, I knew if he got bugged again, like he's... Entertainments down the stairs. Uh-huh. I knew if he got bugged again, like he's been known to do, I knew where I had to go. So, we was never in any major... Um, dire straits because I already knew what 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 needed to be done. But bloody raining, it's raining pretty good actually. Sure. So off to the amphitheater we go. Boy, this is a long loading screen. Sometimes these loading screens are pretty long. And other times they load up very quickly. It just, it's a hit and miss. It's a hit and miss sometimes. Okay, the amphitheater. This direction. Better get out my. Like I can go that way. Oh, I guess I can. Maybe I can. Maybe I can. No, you just need to learn to keep your panties on and not attack somebody for no bloody reason. You attack me, dumb dingleberry. So don't complain when I kill your ass. You shouldn't have attacked me. Crazy fool. Yeah, crazy fool. You shouldn't have attacked me. I got lots left in me. Wish I could say the same about you, but you apparently you're not very bright. Cause I guess being a raider doesn't take brains to be a, be a raider, does it? <laughs> any dummy, any monkey can be a raider. Okay, hello, sir. Hey there. Welcome, neighbor. We're always glad to see a new face around here. Tell me something. You ever feel like this whole world is broken? Do you ever wonder why things can't be the way they were in the good old days? I'm looking for Imogene Colbert. I'm looking for Imogene Cabot. Oh, Cabot. I'm sorry, Cabot. but Imogene is indisposed right now. She's not seeing visitors. You'll see me. Her family's worried about her. You can tell them that she's fine. Not that it's any of your business, but she and I are just having a little relationship trouble. You know how it is. <laughs> she's not seeing anybody until she cools off. You're holding out? 
You're not holding her prisoner, are you? No, she's not a prisoner. She's just locked in her room until she calms down. She was acting crazy, threatening to run off. You know how women can get. I'm going to see her, one way or another. Your choice. Wow, you went right to throwing your weight around. I thought we were friends. <laughs> if you want to see her so bad, don't let me stand in your way. Here, I'll unlock the door for you. Huh. That's what I thought, crazy fool. I'm surprised I passed that speech, speech check. That was a red one. Usually the red ones are the ones you fail. Dead bodies laying around. Looks like they got into a heated battle. Probably with the zombies. But what do you think? I think they got into a heated battle with the zombies. That's what I'm thinking. She's all yours, neighbor. Thank you. Okay, let's talk, lady. You must be Imogene. Don't tell me. Jack sent you. You're Jack's sister. I was expecting someone a bit... younger. You really know how to flatter a lady, don't you? Just to be clear, I'm Jack's younger sister. The baby of the family. Once I get home and get some of Jack's serum, I'll be back to my usual stunning self. Jack has a serum that reverses aging? It's more like it halts aging. I started taking it when I was 32, so normally that's what I look like. You'll see once I get my treatment. I was well known as one of the bells of Boston society, back when there was any. Actually, there's only one vial of the serum left. Raiders got the rest. I'd better get home before Mother convinces Jack that she needs all of it. That he could still be such a mama's boy at his age is ridiculous. I'm so disappointed in Thomas. He seemed so interesting at first. But after we came here, he turned out to be just another brute. He actually thought it could force me to join his absurd cult. You need anything before we go? Need anything before we go? No. I didn't bring anything worth taking with me. Oh, I'm not going with you. You can tell Mother I'll be along home before too long. I just need a drink first. Let me guess, the third rail. <laughs> okay. My guess is she's off to the third rail again. Uh, return to the... Uh, Return to their house. Okay, back over to Jack Cobra's house again. Can't fast travel by those enemies nearby. Okay, well, who's nearby? What the hell was that? <laughs> Dumbass. Lady, put some clothes on. What are you doing over here, young man? Hey, can I go now? Yeah. What was that guy doing? Why is that light lady laying there buck naked? Interesting. Very interesting. Doesn't matter. I put him out of his misery. Okay, put away my gun, and let's go in here again. One more time and go to Cobra's house. Try again. I think it's clearing up. This is maddening. 
Edward, switch over to the Hartley modulator. Do you copy? Ching now. How's this? Oh, <laughs> that's done it. Edward, what's going on there? We're under attack. They're inside the building. Inside? Can you keep them out of the basement? I'm trying, Jack. I I've never seen raiders this Listen, if they're inside the building, you have to go to the office and shut down the elevator. You can't risk them getting to Lorenzo. Got it. Office. Elevator. You better round up whoever you can and get them. Hello? Edward? Come in. Edward! Ah. There's no signal at all. I've lost him. What's happening, Jack? If these people are inside Parsons, if they free him... Don't worry, I'll handle it. I always knew it would end this way. I never should have allowed you to lock up Lorenzo in that place. That isn't helping, Mother. And as I recall, using the serum was your idea, not mine. So what are you going to do? I said I'll handle it. I'm thinking. What's going on? That was Edward. He's at Parsons, the old asylum. They're under attack by raiders. It's strange. The guards have held off raiders before without any trouble. I don't know what's gone wrong this time. I found Emma Jean. She's fine. Oh, yes. Good. Thank God. At least one small comfort on this terrible day. You'll be wanting to be paid, of course. Edward usually handles these things. Caps is what you use for currency, isn't that right? Here. I hope that's the right amount. Now, we really need to focus on the current emergency. How can you be so callous about your sister's safety? I wonder if these could be the same raiders that stole that last shipment. If some of them had used the undiluted serum, it could explain their unusual success against Edward's men. What exactly does this serum do? I suppose it's time you knew. The main benefit of the serum is to halt aging. My family and I are all over 400 years old. But it also confers other side effects, especially in the undiluted form that the raiders stole. It increases strength and resistance to all kinds of physical damage. So at least some of these raiders may be much more dangerous than the ones you're used to dealing with. If you're 400 years old, then you were born before the Great War. Yes, I think you were too. I'd say mid-21st century. Yeah. That's right. I was in cryosleep until recently. Interesting. We'll have to talk more about that later, but time presses. Is there anything else before we get going? Where do you get this serum from? My father, Lorenzo Cabot, is confined in Parsons. He became dangerously unstable after handling an artifact he found on an archaeological dig in Arabia. He gained various seemingly paranormal powers, as well as becoming increasingly irrational and violent. In the end, I had no choice but to confine him. For his own safety, as well as ours. Jack, are you sure it's wise telling him all this? In the course of my attempts to cure him, I discovered that the artifact had introduced anomalies into his blood. So the source of his insanity is also the basis of the treatments that have prolonged all our lives. The irony isn't lost on me, but if he were to escape from Parsons, I would lose my father forever. I will not allow that to happen. Not to mention that the artifact has made him paranoid, homicidally violent, and endowed with extraordinary abilities. Yeah. I've heard that story before when I did the Sincanera mod. Um, it turned them into vampires. Exactly what abilities does he have? Uh, enhanced strength, unusual resistance to most kinds of physical damage. Oh, and a kind of local telekinesis which appears to be projected by the artifact itself. That's why I've built a dampening field into his cell. Which is why we really need to stop these intruders before they turn it off. Before we go, I need you to understand something. When we get to Parsons, you need to do exactly what I tell you. Nothing more, nothing less. Is that clear? Uh, nope, that's not gonna happen. 
because once we get there, I have a bounty I have to collect on. But, you know, sh 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 hush, hush. I got it. Got it. Good. Make sure you have whatever you'll need for a serious battle. I'll wait for you outside. Jack, be careful. And try not to hurt him. I love Father at least as much as you do. But you know as well as I do that if he gets free, there will only be one option. Don't let it come to that, please. I'll do my best, Mother. And if Imogene finally comes home, for God's sake, don't let her leave again until I get back. Now I really do have to go. Okay. Now, I'm actually going to end it right here. Because this is the third... Well, actually, we'll pass the 30-minute mark. And when we return, me and Jack will make our way back over to the asylum and deal with these raiders. And I should be able, at that point in time, be able to clear up two things. Let me see. Um, the bounty, kill Lefty at the Parson State Insane Asylum. So I should be able to do both of these quests together. And with that being said, this is Big Papa J. Hoping you have a good day or night, depending on what it is where you are. I'm out of here.